talk about mammograms. They are powerful. They are life-saving. They are necessary. And you have to get them done every single year. So my first year I got my mammogram, I had this um, complete surprise. First of all, the gown only came up to here and I happen to wear a dress. So there I am with the gown that just came up to here, like just a little shirt. And I just had my chonies and that was it. So that was embarrassing enough. And then this woman comes knocking at the door and she says, hello, I am Baklovich. I am best in hospital for mammogram. And you guys, she took me into this mammogram room the mammogram has its very own room, its very own room. And I go in there and she takes my beautiful breast, my beautiful little breast, and she puts it between two pieces of plexiglass. And then she cranks and she cranks and she cranks until my, my chichi looked like a corn tortilla. That's what it looked like, a corn tortilla. And then like, you know, she didn't even need an x-ray at that point. She could just get a flashlight and go, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, you're good. She could see right through. She, and my, my chichi was like this. And then she goes, don't move. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? What if there's an earthquake and I got to get out of that hospital? What am I going to do? Gnaw this off like a coyote caught in a trap? Right? So I get my mammogram and then I, you know, fold my bra fold my, my chichi back up and stick it back in my bra. And then, you know, I thought well, my bras, my breasts look like just two corn tortillas, like, you know, and so that night for fun, I did some origami with my boobies for my husband. I'm like, Hey, look, a swan, a swan, <laughs> look, a dragon. And, um, so anyway, um, so I had my mammogram and then the doctor calls a couple days later and she said, can someone drive you in for your results? Now, you know, when you need someone to drive you in, that's not a good sign. So I said, sure, my husband can go. So we're sitting in the doctor's office and she says, we found something in Debbie's left breast. And my husband says, not her left breast. And we were both shocked. Like, you know, it's okay for the right, but not the left, not her left breast. And I said, why did you say that? He goes, I don't know. I just panicked. It's my favorite. I'm right-handed. I don't know. So it turned out to be just fibri fibrous tumors, to, uh, fibrous tissues, which some of you ladies know about. And if you have those like I do, it's especially important that you go to make sure those are benign every year. And so again, mammograms are powerful and they give you good information about your own body and they can be life-saving tools. And if you have somebody in your um, family history that has breast, breast cancer, you might wanna start a little earlier than suggested. Most people don't have to pay for their mammograms through their insurance. It is a life-saving technique. Let's all save second base. Thank you very much for letting me come into your home. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.